In my previous Clash Royale tutorial, I showed you how to do video overlays on a PC editor, but you all want to know how to do it on an iOS device. So this is proof that you can do it, and this is a guide on how to do it for free. The video editing program you want on your iOS device is Cute Cut. It's free, but it will put a watermark in the bottom right hand corner of your video. And as you can imagine, with it being on iOS device, it's going to be fiddly, but here's how to do it. First, create a new movie by tapping the plus button in the top left hand corner. Then you want to have it in HD, a landscape orientation and 30 frames a second. When you start editing your video, you'll have the video timeline playing back on the left hand side and the tracks on the right hand side. And in the middle, you can slide this lever to extend or minimize either part of the screen, which is going to be very useful. Next, let's start adding tracks and you do that by pressing the plus button and then adding a photo. I'll assume that you've already stored the pictures that you need for your video to your iOS device. So we'll add the wallpaper first as that's the background. And if you need to adjust the track at all, you can double tap on it to bring up all these options. And then you can use the top and side square buttons to expand the picture if you need to. Try to avoid these circles in the corners because that just rotates the picture rather than expanding it. Next, you want to add your video, so press the plus button and choose video. Select the video you want and then pick choose in the bottom right hand corner and that should add the video along with the audio and you can see that it's already starting to look like the video that we used with the PC editor. And so those are the very basics of editing a video through Cute Cut on your iOS device. Now it's just a case of continuing to add the tracks and add the pictures that you want to create your overlay effect. In my case, it's adding my logo and my battle deck. And just one more thing, when you want to move a picture, you can double tap on it and then tap on any part of the space in the picture to drag it around the screen. Just make sure you don't tap the middle circle and that should put the picture where you need it to go. A few things to mention at this point, if you want to move an overlay to the front or back of a video track, you can long press on the track to pick it up and then move it up and down the track line to put it at the front or back. And then to extend a timeline, you need to double tap on the picture and then double tap on one of these little knobs at the top and then drag it. The problem with this is that it doesn't actually snap to other tracks or I couldn't find a way. So that meant that at the end of a track, I didn't quite match everything up and it left blank spaces. Also, sometimes when you double tap and drag, it fails to do it and it was really irritating. People who have more experience with this program may know more about this, but it's just another example of it being really fiddly on an iOS device. So you should see my video taking effect now with all the overlays that are in place minus a font. And that's pretty easy to do. You press the plus button again and add text and type in the text that you want. Now you can use custom fonts if you want to, for example, the Supercell font, but that requires an iTunes in order to download the font and then install it into the CuteCut program. And I'm assuming that because you've asked for this tutorial, you don't have a computer to do that. But there are ways to do it, Google it if you need to. So once you've put all your overlays onto your video and finished editing it the way you want to, tap the share button in the top right hand corner of the program and then tap on export to album choose your resolution and that should save it to the photo camera roll. It should take a few minutes depending on how long the video is. And this is your final product. As I mentioned at the top of the video, you can see the watermark in the bottom right hand corner and it doesn't look quite as good as the version I edited on my PC. But if you want to do this for free on an iOS device, this is probably your best solution. And as I said, this is a quick guide. I took maybe 15 minutes to learn a program so there's probably more you can do with it to make it look better. Give it a try, let me know your thoughts in the comments below. If you found this video informative and useful, then don't forget to give it a thumbs up. And if you love this content, then you can subscribe to the Video Gadgets channel for all sorts of iOS screen recording content in the future. Otherwise, thanks for watching, enjoy the rest of your tech day. Bye for now.